Welcome to the channel. This AMS heater just showed up on my doorstep from Sunlu. It's a pre-production unit that's launching later in July. So let's uh, take a look and see how it works. To celebrate their 12th anniversary, Sunlu is launching this AMS heater in July with the pre-launch sale starting July 10th. The unit replaces the lid of the AMS and dries the filament while you print keeping the normal abilities of the AMS to switch between filaments. On this model, the inside shell is clear so you can see the inner workings, but I'm told the production versions won't be this way. You can see that there are two heaters, one on each side with a fan, uh, and in the center is the uh, main board that controls everything. The control panel looks to be the same setup as the controls on their other heating uh, units. You can set different filament types to dry, which uh, selects different presets. And then you can also change the uh, heating temperature or the runtime independently. Letting it run while it was uh, sitting on the bench, it took about three minutes to get to 50 degrees Celsius. And after about five minutes, the relative humidity inside the box dropped from 50% down to 22. To install the unit, it's pretty simple. The AMS lid is held on by four screws that uh, attach to the uh, end clips that hold the lid on, uh, and they're accessed from the bottom of the AMS. Once you take those four screws out, the lid just pulls right off with the clips. The heater comes with a new set of clips so that, that just slide onto the mounting bar on the unit, and then they slot into the same spot on the AMS and get screwed back in the same way. And once you got the screws tightened down, that's it, it's ready to use. These white containers in the front are desk and holders that I printed quite a while ago. So I'm just putting them back in to run it. Now that the AMS is fully stocked, uh, let's give it a run and see how it does. After about five minutes or so, the temperature gauge I have in the unit is starting to climb, which seems fine because uh, it is at the bottom of the AMS unit. What seems odd is that the humidity is starting to rise. After letting it go for a while, I realized that the desiccant I have in those containers um, have been in there for a while and need to be dried out. So I'm thinking that as the AMS is heating up, they're starting to release the moisture that's trapped in them. So I pulled the containers out to go dry out the desiccant and uh, left the machine running. After I removed the desiccant and aired out the case in the process, the humidity dropped down to about the same as in the room and continued decreasing from there. Once the desiccant was dry, I put it back into the machine and at that point the humidity in the case had dropped down to about 30%. From that point the humidity kept dropping to till it got to about 25%. Uh, and a little after 30 minutes, the display was reading about 21 humidity. So I'm not sure uh, if the issue is the accuracy with the gauge, it's not anything special, or if it's because it's a different spot in the case, but 4% difference between the two readings seems acceptable. Also, the temperature gauge was reading different. It was reading 33 degrees while the case was saying it was 50. Uh, and this could just be the location of the two sensors because the uh, gauge is tucked into a, a little channel at the very front of the case at the bottom and it's not in the airflow that would be going around the uh, filament spools so it's possible it's not getting the full amount of heat being delivered. So who's this for? Well if you work with filaments like Petchy or nylon but you want to keep the functionality of your AMS then this would be a great addition to your workflow. Or maybe you're working with other engineering filaments that are sensitive to uh, moisture but you want to use a different support material 
that would be great for uh, the AMS. Or maybe you're printing large volumes or very large objects and you want to be able to stack the AMS with multiple rolls of the same filament. So when it rolls out, when it runs out, it just uh, continues printing. That would be another uh, good use case. The upgrade is pretty straightforward, so it seems like a no-brainer if you're fighting moisture issues, although I don't know what the price is going to be yet. So stay tuned for any updates as the launch date gets closer. Also, if you would like to make your own models to print, but you're not great at 3D modeling, uh, check out this video here where I show you an AI that can turn any image into a printable mesh. Thanks for watching.